Welcome back to Medverse today, we're focusing on a critical update on the evolving landscape of winter respiratory viruses. As cold winter weather drives people indoors and flu, colds, and other seasonal respiratory viruses circulate, SARS-CoV-2, the coronavirus that causes COVID-19 has continued to mutate and spread. The latest strain to attract attention is called JN.1, and so far it appears to be highly transmissible. The JN.1 strain surfaced in the U.S. in September. It is a close relative of BA.286, a lineage of the Omicron variant that the CDC has been tracking since August. A difference between BA.286 and JN.1 is that the latter has one mutation in its spike protein a single change that may or may not alter any of the traits that characterize the virus, although preliminary research shows that it may provide extra immune evasion. B8286 has more than 20 mutations on the spike protein, and there was a concern when it was first detected a while back. JN.1 has an additional mutation on its spike protein from BA2.86, which is what SARS-CoV-2 uses to latch onto your cells and make you sick. As of now, there's no data to suggest that JN.1 causes different symptoms than previous COVID-19 variations. It's an Omicron variant and looks to be similar. The CDC says those symptoms may include fever or chills, cough, shortness of breath or difficulty breathing, fatigue, muscle or body aches, headache, new loss of taste or smell, sore throat, congestion or runny nose, nausea or vomiting, diarrhea. It's looking to be pretty contagious. There is some data that suggests JN.1's parent, BA.286, may be more transmissible than previous variants. JN.1 is spreading in a lot of places, including in the U.S. JN.1 has been described in a number of countries, including the U.S., Iceland, and many countries in the Europe and Asia. Does the COVID vaccine work on JN.1? The CDC notes that the spike protein is the part of the virus that vaccines target and, as a result, the updated COVID-19 vaccine should work against JN.1. The CDC also points out that existing data show that the updated 2023-2024 COVID-19 vaccines help our immune systems block BA.2.86 anticipation of three viruses, SARS-CoV-2, influenza, and RSV, hitting around the same time in the fall and winter has contributed to fears of a triple-demic in recent years. This season, Vaccines are available to help protect against all three of these illnesses. Updated flu and COVID shots are available to everyone ages six months and older. And new RSV preventions are given to the most vulnerable populations and include two vaccine choices for adults, 60 and older. There is also a monoclonal antibody for infants and toddlers and a vaccine given to pregnant women to provide antibodies that will help protect their newborn infants from RSV from birth to six months. Updated COVID vaccines that became available this fall are expected to increase protection against JN.1. What's more, COVID tests should be able to detect JN.1 and other strains, and antiviral treatments should remain effective against these variants, according to the CDC. Protective efforts can help as well. To prevent infections and severe disease, the WHO advises, wear a mask in crowded enclosed areas, cover up coughs and sneezes, clean your hands regularly. Stay up to date with COVID and flu vaccinations, especially if vulnerable. Stay home if ill. Get tested if you have symptoms. And if you happen to get COVID-19, contact your doctor to see if you qualify for an antiviral medication. Thank you for joining us on Medverse. Stay tuned for more updates on health, wellness, and the latest developments. Until then, take care, and we'll see you in the next video.